it's hard to believe we haven't won a game on the road. You know, uh, we've got a very resilient group of young men. Um, I think it was obvious to everybody who made it to the first period that we weren't playing our best hockey, but um, we reeled it in at the end of the period. Brave kept us in it, one nothing, and um, you know, pretty even we played game from there until overtime. Did they take it up a level in overtime, or what happened? No, I mean, I mean, they played. They played well. I think we probably got away from doing some things that, that we, we did to get ourselves back in the game. You know, we've got to make that team come 200 feet. You turn pucks over at their blue line, the 45 seconds left to go in overtime, and they're going to whip it right back into your zone. You've got to make them play half court, half court hot, for lack of a better reference. If it goes up and down the sheet, it, it favors them. The locker map, we, we, we won't know how big of a win that was probably until the end of the season, but uh, you know, they stayed with it. Uh, you know, I thought we came out early and really played well, and uh, the goaltender played great. And I got nervous the fact that we weren't putting the pocket in that it could come back to haunt us. Uh, obviously, they stayed with it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I give them a lot of credit. I think Mark's done a tremendous job with the program. I give him a lot of credit. His team played hard all weekend. and. Uh, we stayed focused at the end and found a way to win. It was an important win for us. Uh, the guys didn't want to settle, obviously, for a tie. They played great in, in the uh, overtime, and we're just determined to get the two points. And obviously, it will be uh, a very important two points. Well, I think the line of uh, Blank's line played well for us tonight. So we put them, uh, put Moses back on that line, change it up a little bit, uh, and they played great. And we needed them to play well. It gave us two lines that were a threat all night. Unfortunately, it, I think we might have lost uh, Spielman and uh, Burke with uh, shoulders. So that's a disappointing part of tonight's game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a big win for us. Questions? Did the way you played in overtime, does that speak to how important it was to get a win? Instead of a tie? Well, I think it's how we determined that the team was, uh, they didn't want to settle for a tie. It was, uh, it was obviously important for, for us to get two points, especially with us uh, heading to Maine uh, next weekend. I don't know how they ended up, but uh, the win last night, then they got a game in the so. 4 4. 4 4. So, hey, it's, uh, you know, Merrimack's been a good team all season. So the, the team that you got to battle in, uh, they played hard. point of the year where we, you know, we want to make a push for playoffs and kind of our status as a team and, and getting swept this weekend would just not be acceptable and we needed those two points. Would a tie have been acceptable? Um, better than a loss, but no, I mean, we wanted to win and we, I thought, you know, second period was a little rough, but we, we worked hard and I think we earned it. But that line, your line and stuff, you guys, you did get all kinds of chances all night. So. Yeah, I mean, we, we've played together in the past this year and, and we've been kind of shuffled around a little bit, but we played really well tonight. Um, you know, me, Pete, and Stevie were all seeing each other good out there and making passes, and it was fun. It's nice, obviously, to get another line. I mean, they've been down on one line quite a bit and stuff. So. Oh, yeah, I mean, they've they've carried us for a long, long ways this year, and, uh, and I was talking to Phil about it earlier, or yesterday, actually, that, you know, it's been great, but... We're going to need more than one line if we want to make a push in the deep in the playoffs. Did it, did it begin to seem there? I mean, you, you got a couple, of, you got your goals, but then you couldn't get another one past them. Really good. Yeah, I, I think as the game went on, I think they might have tightened up a little bit. They were like they were stretching the guy all night, but but they, I think they tightened up their their defense a little bit. But and the and goals played yeah. well. Like, I think we have what do we have? Forty some shots on yeah, so he, but, I mean, he actually played pretty well. Uh, not every play. <laughs> We're playing pretty desperate there. I mean, the last thing we want to do is give them any rushes, but I think uh, Phil got the puck there in the corner and gave it out to me. I just threw it on net trying to hope for a rebound. Bob had a swipe at it, I think. And then it just came out of the scrum to me, and I just threw it back on net. 
I don't, I don't actually know how it went in, or I think it might have hit something. And yeah, as, as you got the puck, it looked like you, you were kind of patient and, and brought it out a little bit. Did you, did you feel that way, or just kind of get a puck I was, in there? I was actually trying to get a better shot off, and I kind of fanned on it a bit, and just I think it stayed on the ice, and just yeah. kind of lucky that it went in there. At that point, do, do you know how much time is left? Or are you just trying to scramble and, and keep it on the net and stuff? Uh, I, I thought there was actually last one, so I didn't realize how much time was left until we looked up at the clock in the locker room and saw 11 seconds. So, yeah, just trying to... I was just trying to throw the puck on that. I thought it was a lot less than that. I thought it was close to being over. You guys, you guys celebrated pretty well. I mean, it was pretty good. I mean, it was, it was a pretty big point. Yeah, it was, I mean, we needed that extra point. We couldn't afford to take one out of four this weekend. I mean, a little disappointed with letting the one get away yesterday, but I mean, it's a big win for us tonight and uh, gives us some momentum going into Maine here. Was was this even doubly important because you, you got a tough weekend coming up next weekend? You didn't really, really want to go in with uh, you know a couple of missed opportunities. Yeah. Uh, I think so because we we had a, got a pretty good lead here in Hockey East. I mean, uh, yesterday made it a little closer, but it's a huge two points tonight to keep us a little ahead of the pack and then give us momentum going into yeah. Maine and hopefully come out of there with four points. Okay. Thanks, Paul. You guys go on to win the. Hockey East regular season championship. Will that moment be one that you look back at? I think that's a huge moment. I think Providence overtime is also a big, uh, two big games that we, uh, not, I don't want to say battled back, but we uh, really battled to win that. The desperate with you guys in overtime tonight. It seemed like you guys. Well, well, I mean, I thought the play was mostly in their end, and uh, you could tell we wanted it by the way we played. Anything said you know, as you people you went into overtime and stuff? We just talked about getting pucks to the net and uh, a lot of traffic in front because, you know, ice is not good at the end of the period, so we just wanted to get a greasy goal. It seemed like it would have been a tough point to give up, especially having a couple of two goal leads and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we had a five on or a five minute power play, yeah. so you know we were able to capitalize on that, but we had our chances. So it would have been a tough uh, point to lose. Yeah, we had a, quite a few chances, especially in the first. But uh, I thought we played really well, and that uh, we clicked tonight. You guys have been together before. What was what was different tonight? Uh, Moses was on the right. I don't know how much of a difference I made, but uh, I think just being back, you know, it was, we were all pumped up to be back together. You had you played the other way before? Most was on yeah, the most was on the left, and the sis was on the uh, on the right, and I think that worked well tonight. Switch. How important is it? I mean, it, it's hugely important, isn't it, to, to get another line going and stuff? Okay, we'll oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, uh, De Simone with uh, Butler and Thompson have been going all year, so it's you gotta have two strong lines to keep going. So hopefully, uh, we keep going. Was it beginning to feel? I mean, even even I mean, from the bench, so. Or you know, watching him make those saves in the overtime, it was going to be tough to get one by him. It was, yeah, he played unbelievable tonight, especially in the first period. I think we all shot them. We looked up, it was 10 nothing in the first 10 minutes. Yeah. So he really, I thought he really played well tonight.